Hi, this is Dave with Dave's TR4A. Thanks for coming back to my channel. This video is going to be about installing this new wiper switch in my TR4A, which will be an enhancement to my previous enhancement of my wiper system on my TR4A, where I installed a TR6 wiper motor, TR6 wiper switch, and wheel boxes and all that. You can see that whole playlist on my channel if you're interested in how to do that. But the reason I'm doing installing this switch is because of a Facebook post I saw in the Rusty Beauties group from a guy named Jacob Garfinkel. And he has a TR6 that he installed the switch on. And I thought, wow, I need to do that too. So this is kind of a generic switch. It's made for a permanent magnet motor, like on a TR6. And it also has a park function that will work on the TR6 motor. Plus it has this intermittent wiper function, which is really what I'm I'm looking to in, include into my the function of my wipers. So, and I wanna make it look as, as stock as I can. So, so anyway, uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Well, before I get too far into this, I just wanna do a special shout out to Jacob Garfinkel for coming up with this, this modification to his TR6 <clears throat> about a year ago. He's in the uh, Rusty Beauties uh, group on Facebook and had posted uh, one or two videos or not videos, but uh, just informative posts, I will say, of installing this switch in his car, and uh, it it uh, it has a this this really nice uh, intermittent wiper function in it, and basically, and plus it's got a a push button washer function also. So so anyway, uh, just as a quick demo here, it's in the off position now. Get it down in the middle of the screen here. If I turn it on, it'll go to about, I guess, what is that, about 30 degrees? That's the intermittent section of the wiper. And um, I, obviously, I guess it speeds up as you get closer to the first position, which is slow, which is that. <clears throat> and then one more click and you're on fast. So anyway... Uh, this is what I'm really looking for is this is this intermittent wiper function so um, let's get to how I'm going to interface in this into my TR4A okay so I want to talk about the knob first here's your standard <coughs> TR4A wiper switch okay and it's got the hole in it here for the sh for the little pin, spring-loaded pin on the shaft to hold it in. This shaft is one that I harvested from an old uh, TR4A wiper switch. So I just basically cut it off to where we've got like a quarter of an inch or so of, of the shaft exposed here. And the other end is is attached into the, the hole in the in the knob, so that's, that's fixed. Okay, on this end of the switch, there's this is a qu standard quarter-inch shaft and you can see there's like a little <clears throat> little circlip here on the end and this this limits the travel of the switch for the the push button switch for the uh, the washer pump okay so what we need to do is come up with an, a coupler to attach this shaft to this shaft so what I did is I found this on Amazon it's basically a, a half inch diameter by one inch uh, coupler and it's got a quarter inch hole through a through hole through the center and it's got some drilled and tapped holes on the end there's one on each side for a tiny little grub screw that that uh, will attach that uh, shafts to the the coupler so basically <clears throat> here's here's what I did uh, I painted it black so it would be less obvious when it's when it's all put together this is the standard quarter inch shaft hole that that's going to go on the switch here. That'll just slide on. Okay. On this end, what I did is I had to drill this out uh, to to allow a five sixteenths hex to go into it. So basically, you know, the grub screws will hold this on, and then the grub screws will hold this this into the shaft. So so that's basically how I'm going to put them together mechanically uh, the only tricky part is 
how am I, what what kind of a sequence of operation am I going to have to um, have to go to to put this all together? So let's let's look at that next. So the the assembly process has to be where this goes on here first, obviously. But then if I do that, <clears throat> how am I going to get to these? these uh, grub screws on the inside here. Uh, this will be no problem on the outside. So <clears throat> what I did is I ended up kind of guesstimating where where the screws are going to lie. And it, it, it kind of funny, it turns out that, see this parting line here, for I guess it was for the mold. That's exactly where the, the center line of the these two grub screws are that are going to be on the inside. So what I did is just got on the drill press and just drilled some clearance holes big enough to put the, the, the little Allen wrench in there. So let me go ahead and I'll mount this and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so I have, I'm going to call this the cup, this mounted on the switch with the access holes at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Okay, so I think the next step is going to be to attach the uh, my coupler to this knob so let's see I gotta get the right side there so that's gonna go on there like that okay let me tighten that up okay so I have my knob attached to my little adapter collar and uh, this oriented to where this is at uh, 30 degree or three o'clock and, and uh, nine o'clock so I gotta put the the chrome ring on there because I won't be able to get it on after that. Slide that on there and then tighten these up. Let me do that. Okay, then I'm going to tighten these up. Okay, and then this just screws on here. And I guess the plinth is probably going to be maybe a sixteenth or so, I guess. So if you look at the side here, this the collar is just barely sticking out. So, and you know, I, I can get to the push button, works great. And so there it is. All set to go. Now let's just see if it fits in the car. <laughs> so here's my switch plinth right now. Uh, it's, it's somewhat different than stock, obviously, as you can see. Uh, this is my dimmer switch. It's solid state uh, dimmer switch for the uh, LED instrument lights. Uh, this is where I put the current uh, wiper switch. This is the TR6 wiper switch. This knob here is my emergency flashers, uh, ignition of course, and choke. So uh, this guy is going to want to go into there. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Let me uh, go ahead and get this, this this plinth loose then and we can uh, see how things go here. Okay, so I've got the switch plinth out of the way. Um, I still have a choke cable hooked up. I don't want to fool with that uh, if I don't have to. Uh, the ignition switch is tucked out of the way. Battery's disconnected, so hopefully no chance of a fire. I still have the TR6 switch partially wired up. Um, and here's the... Uh, new switch and I've removed the two uh, plastic connectors that were on there and I put insulated bullet connectors on there. These are, I want to put the male ones on this side and the female ones on these wires and then uh, go ahead and, and I think I'm going to hook the thing up and just see what uh, see it, make sure that it works uh, the new switch works I should say and then uh, button the thing all back up and I think we'll be done. Here are the wiring connections that I came up with to interface the Cole Hersey switch into uh, a standard TR6 wiper harness. So uh, that you can use this as a guy, but you don't have to obviously use this, these stiff, these same colors. It, they may be hard to get, although I would recommend uh, buying them from uh, Advanced Auto Wire if you are going to get them. He does sell a wire harness for the um, TR6 wiper motor.
I just want to say that I'm still rebuilding voltage stabilizers. So if you want me to take your voltage stabilizer from this to this, just send me an email at deconnit at gmail.com. D-C-O-N-N-I-T-T at gmail.com. And the subject just put uh, voltage stabilizer. I've shipped uh, over 140 of these now with no returns for quality or performance. So each one is burned in for 24 hours minimum at 150% of its normal load. And each one is serialized, so I have good quality control on when the unit was shipped and where, it's, where it went to and what its, its actual voltage was. So anyway, uh, thanks again, and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still doing these voltage stabilizers. Okay, so it's all back together. Uh, my new switch is in. I got the official TR4A wiper control knob. I got to get a, a better knob for this. It's it's just got a like a three or three thirty seconds or some. It's less than a quarter. Uh, shaft here with a knurled shaft and that, that, the this is made for like a you know some kind of an instrument knob but I got to do something that looks like crap so anyway new wiper switch the uh, hazard switch is here it's back in again so let's see how this how this goes here so I'll turn on the key so so they just come up and go over once when you turn them on so if I if I, I'm going to back up so you can see the switch and the, without putting my finger over the microphone, that would be nice. So anyway, if I push it, it'll go like three sweeps and stop or park. Okay, and if I go to just the very slowest intermittent section that setting, it's, it's about 15 seconds, it seems like, between wipes or sweeps or whatever you want to call it. So and then we'll just see how that goes. But uh, yeah, see. Okay, and if I turn this so where it's just under the slow setting, it's about, see now this is perfect for driving when it's just kind of misty and crappy out. It's about every other second. Um, it's just perfect. So then if I go to the first click, this is like slow speed. Going more is fast. And then if I, it, they park perfectly. So I think this has been a success. So, and again, some of you guys may think, what the heck's he doing to this nice car? You know, he keeps fooling with it and doing all this stuff. Well, the reason is, uh, we love to go on trips in this car. Long, oh, I I like to go on long trips. My wife not so much, but but I I do. I've I've been to Watkins Glen a couple times, and of course we did our our terrific trip out west last year and uh, 6,400 miles. And um, thank God I had the TR6 wiper motor option or up, upgrade in this thing, so that that saved our our butts because it. Out there in the in the Rockies, it seems like it's it's sunny in the morning and thunderstorms in the evening. So uh, that's something you just got to learn to contend with. If you if you have decent wipers, that's ninety percent of the battle. So anyway, I think I'm done fooling with the wipers. I have my intermittent uh, feature now. So uh, it was a little tight getting the switch into there. I'm not gonna lie, it just just barely fits so but it but it will go in and um yeah so it's it's definitely worth it i'll, I'll post the um part numbers for the the spacer that i use this coupler and also uh the motor or not motor the switch and i think that's all i had um if there's anything else i can think of uh, to put in the description to help anybody do this upgrade i will certainly do it um, but uh, anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, please subscribe uh, and like the videos. You know, it helps me get uh, uh, get it out to more people. And uh, it's uh, I like doing the videos and and uh, spreading what little knowledge I have of 
of how to keep these cars in, in good running condition. But anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. That's it for now. Please like and subscribe.